Canada's immigration ministry could be forced to reopen the case files of around 1,500 Chinese visa applicants or face a penalty of 16.5 billion U.S. dollars. A judge in Canada is considering a class action lawsuit filed by wealthy Chinese investors. They had applied for Canadian residency under the Immigrant Investor Program. The Canadian government canceled the scheme this year. Christian Yeo reports from Toronto. It's a legal challenge by 1,469 Chinese nationals who'd applied under the now defunct Immigrant Investor Program. Their class action lawsuit could force Citizenship and Immigration Canada to assess their applications on merit or pay each of them $5 million compensation. Their lawyer is Tim Leahy. If Justice Gleason either issues that the order the way I've written it, or request, requested it, at this point, it would cost the Treasury $16.5 billion if the minister chooses not to comply with the order to process them on their merits. He will. The Immigrant Investor Program allowed foreigners, in effect, to buy Canadian passports with a payment to the Treasury of 800000 Canadian dollars. Due to rampant demand, the government suspended the scheme in 2012, leaving around 65,000 foreigners in limbo. The majority of cases, about 70%, were Chinese. Canada told those applicants in February this year that their cases would never be processed. You can't believe anything they say. And we practitioners, I mean, I don't know about the others, but people who talk to me, somebody will ask me, and I'll say, I can't tell you what's going to happen next week, because everything that happens is done retrospectively. The government says the program failed to bring economic benefits to Canada and it's planning new schemes which it hopes are more effective. Leahy believes the program was flawed from the start and only became popular because wait times for other visas were so bad. I used to say to people, if you want to set up a business, come as an entrepreneur. If you don't want to live here, come as an investor. But then they made entrepreneurs, as I said earlier, five to seven years to be processed. How, how can you plan a future when you don't know when you're going to come here? So many entrepreneurs really came as investors. Reaction in China has been critical, with some suggesting that Canada no longer wants Chinese immigrants or their cash. I think the Chinese have been overly sensitive. They're not drawing the draw ridge up on the Chinese, they're drawing it up on everyone. Citizenship and Immigration Canada has told us it can't comment specifically on the legal action made by some immigrant investors, but it is promising to refund all application fees paid to the department by immigrant investors. More details on that process will be coming in the next few weeks. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.